Welcome to the gear highlight section of the Danger Close podcast. So because I just had an incredible conversation with Chris Ryan, author of The One That Got Away and 70 other books, amazing guy. Uh, we were talking about escape and evasion. We were talking about survival. We were talking about resiliency. And uh, I so I grabbed a couple of things, went to my car, grabbed a couple of things from the car, survival kits, a couple other things I'll talk about here in a second. But uh, I also have been interested in, in survival my entire life. And I picked this book up uh, as I came back here into the office to, to film this. And I opened it 1980. I got this for Christmas from my aunt. Uh, 1980. It's the Hardy Boys Handbook, Seven Stories of Survival. I still have it all these years later. I read it to my kids probably, gosh, five, six, seven, eight years ago. But uh, obviously, they don't make this anymore. Well, I shouldn't say obviously. Maybe they do. But uh, yeah, 1980. So I remember this, reading this book. And uh, first, my mom read it to me because I think I was what, 1987. And uh, yeah, I still remember it to this day. I still remember some of the lessons in here to this day. Uh, so very cool. Once again, bam. We talked about on that podcast also with uh, Chris Ryan about the importance of reading, particularly for children who have so many digital distractions out there these days. Uh, so getting them into uh, into reading, uh, introducing them to, uh, to, to books that they have a connection with, that they're interested in, uh, and getting them on that path to be lifelong readers. Uh, anyway, this was one of those books that, that did it for me, and I still have it all these years later. So in that uh, same vein, I grabbed these two things, just ran out to the car, grabbed these, and these are uh, two survival kits. I think this one, John Barklow. So if you're not following John Barklow on Instagram, do so. Uh, in, he has so many great lessons from his time uh, in the backcountry, in the military, teaching uh, survival at our cold weather warfare training facility up in uh, Kodiak, Alaska, works uh, at Sitka now. But uh, I think he put this together for me a long time ago up in, uh, in Kodiak. So I like this one because you also have something to collect water in, something to, to drink out of. So it's in this bottle right here. He's got some, some wire in there. Uh, we got some fire starting material in here. What else is in here? And I asked for some sparks start fire. So a lot of this stuff in that kind of an environment is fire starting. So uh, some matches. Uh, this is some material to help start fire here. Uh, wet fire, fire starting material there. And some... Yep, right here. This is some water purification tablets. I talked about to uh, to Chris Ryan about that. Um, so yeah, anything you really want to put in here is another uh, fishing kit, emergency fishing kit, uh, right here. Uh, so yeah, using a bottle like this, using a Nalgene bottle, something like that, uh, that you can fit your survival stuff in and just tuck away in a glove compartment uh, under a seat, something like that. Highly recommended. So there's that one. And then I forget if I got this one in Kodiak as well, but see how I have the zippers right here, right in the middle. So a Sergeant Major from, uh, from Delta Force, who I think will, uh, I think he, he prefers to go unnamed, but uh, he taught me that years and years ago, have always having your packs uh, and your zippers in the same place so you can find them in the dark so that somebody else knows that your pack is always like that. So right in the middle, uh, and I've done it ever since. So this one has a uh, compass in this outside pocket right here. And if you're running to Syria on E&E, &E, that uh, compass is a good thing to have. Uh, what else? I, I added this. I think this was the issued kit. Uh, I added this uh, lighter to it. Uh, it's got a bag right here, whistle, uh, fire starting material in here. Yep. Uh, usually it's the waterproof match case, but I have some other things in here besides a uh, waterproof matches. Uh, I got some insect repellent right there. Uh, gosh, there's a bunch of stuff. Amazing how much is in here. Uh, a compass, flint rod, Ziploc bag, leak-proof bag, uh, water purification tablets, compass, uh, glow stick, uh, some Kevlar, some uh, micro tool, uh, lights, signal mirror, safety pins, reflective tape, timber, water windproof matches, uh, whistle. So there's a lot you can fit in a pretty small. This one has some light in here, uh, compass in here mirror, water purification tablets, and Ziploc bags, although they're a little stronger than a 
normal Ziploc here. Um, but yeah, you can fit a lot into a very small package. That's the the point. So having this on you as you head into the backcountry or in your car is or in your your spouse's car uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, also, we talked about hypothermia. We talked about going into the, an environment that they didn't expect to be as cold as it was. So I always have like a sleeping bag, something tucked away in the car. This is a Kafaru Wubi right here. So this is uh, is like is insulation. So something that's going to insulate you, keep you warm, uh, throw that in your vehicle as well in case you need to spend the night out there in the cold. Um, so that is that. And then this right here. I love these things. This is a MicroStart XP10. I've had it on my gear guide. I think it's going to be on the Father's Day gear guide. It's been on a few different ones. But this thing right here, you can jumpstart a diesel with this thing. You can jumpstart most everything with this. Uh, the key is to plug it back in and charge it once you've used it. But you can do computers. You can run a bunch of stuff off this thing. But uh, yeah, you don't need another car to jumpstart your vehicle. You got power right here. It's super easy. You just clip in and go. So definitely got to have one of these in your car. I got one for each of our vehicles in the family. So yeah, all about being prepared. All right. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time on the gear highlight section of Danger Close.